Good day, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Wind Down Wednesdays with your girl, Joshia. And you know what? I have been having a lot of fun with you guys on our previous episodes. And this episode, I feel, is much needed. Because if you have decided to end it with your sneaky links, if you have decided to end that toxic relationship, then this is the episode for you. So today, we are going to say, forget closure. Literally. I know most of the times they teach us, you need closure, closure is good. But sometimes, you know, in order to move on, you just gotta move on. You can't look for an apology or closure from somebody. But before we get into that topic, let's get back into our formalities. And you know what? Today's episode, we will be featuring the book, Like She Owns the Place. Now, I read this book, I think back in 2019, I read this book, Like She Owns the Place, right? And I also listened to her podcast, it's The Champagne Diet, and her name is Cara Al Will. And I just, I feel like this book is really empowering because this book basically tells you, do not wait to live life on somebody else's terms, but live life on your terms. And that's why I wanted to speak today about forgetting closure. Anytime you decide to wait on closure, you are waiting for somebody else to give you that fulfillment to move on. That's basically what it is. And there are some people out there that are very selfish that do not want you to get closure. Yes, they are out there. I, I'm going to give you a story time because most of the times we think getting closure is healthy. Sometimes it is. Don't get me wrong. But then sometimes some persons are so incapable of being adults themselves that if you decide to wait on them to be the bigger person, you will wait till Christ come. Literally, you will just keep there. You will just be there waiting. And most of the time, when persons come, when we, when we expect that closure from somebody, we are still trying to find a way to justify the actions of what they did to us. Yeah, that's what basically closure is. Closure is me saying, I want to wait on you to tell me sorry. I want to wait on you to explain to me why you did what you did. And if I don't get it, then I can't move on. And, and you don't necessarily just not move on. You know, of course, you're going to wake up every day because the day goes on without you. But you don't move on in the sense that you keep replaying that same event over and over again. You just don't let it go. You decide to close off yourself from the world and say that I'm not going to get in another relationship because I did not get closure from the first. Or you decide to say, I'm just going to wait till this job appreciates me, which we know that they're never going to appreciate you. But I'm going to stay on that job until they realize that I deserve to be appreciated. You are looking for closure. And one of the main things that will help you accept closure is that you cannot control people's actions. You only can control yours. Now, I wrote down something the other day. And because I was just, I just wanted to know, like, the main thing I wanted to know is why we look for closure. Most of the times when we look for closure, it's associated with some trauma that we felt in the past. And... Looking for closure brings, brings us a sense of it's ended and now I can create a new beginning. And most humans, we try to tell ourselves new beginnings are tied to somebody else. A new beginning starts with a new mindset. New beginnings aren't tied to somebody else's action. And one of, one of the most, I think, like one of the most, like the main issue in persons in my age bracket, and probably even some persons that are a little older, is that we tend not to move on with our lives because we feel like people owe us something. Like, you owe me closure. That's what we tell us. We, you, we tell ourselves, you owe me closure. I was this for you. I was that for you. I was everything that you told me I was supposed to be for you. I need your closure, and I need it now. No. Nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you anything. And, and, and that's just how life is. And that's one of the painful truths about life. We have to understand that persons doesn't owe us anything. And I wrote this down and I wanted to know why we look for closure. And this is what I wrote. We look for closure when we want an explanation for somebody's actions. Many times I would stay in like basically in the red, I'd be like depressed or something over what somebody did to me because I didn't understand why they do it. Like, why did they do that? Why did they do that to me? I was such a good person. I didn't deserve that. Little did I know is that 
everybody's their own human being. Like, I can't stop you from controlling what you do, just how you can't stop me from staying there or moving on. Nobody can stop you from moving on. Nobody. If you ever hear somebody say, oh, I'm just not over him yet. He does this and he does that. You're not ready to move on. Um, a few, a year ago, my friend told me this, right? And I love him so much daily. I, I love him daily. My friend D'Angelo told me this. He said, Joshi, I can tell you to walk away from something, but you're going to walk away from it when you get tired. Not when I get tired, not when the world gets tired, it's when you get tired. When you feel as if that you have had enough, you're going to walk away. And that's how it is with closure with yourself. When you have gotten tired of being in that particular environment, being in that particular, having that type of ambiance around you, having that type of demeanor around you, you're going to tell yourself, I am tired. And then you're just going to pick up and move on whether you have somebody's approval or not. Most of the times, Closure can also be tied to us looking for self, not looking for self-validation, but looking for people validation and what decisions and choices that we make. That's when, that, now I can, there are people out there, guys. I'm going to tell you, you call them people pleasers. I call them people validation. Like they look for the validation from society to say, it is okay for you to pursue this type of career path that you want or it is okay for you to pursue this person that you want. It is okay for you to do whatever it is that you want to do. But at the end of the day, you're not going to do it based on how people perceive you. And most of the things that I have accomplished in life, it, it, I actually went through a phase where I had to please myself before I could have pleased somebody else. And most of the times when I decided to move on from painful situations, I did not get the apology that was owed to me from that person. And if I had weight on that apology from that person, I would still be playing Tom and Jerry cat and mouse games with that person. Because guess what? The people that you ask closure from, they are usually very narcissistic and they love that power that they have over you to say, yep, you ain't going nowhere. Yep, you still thinking about me. Yep, you still going to wait on me to tell you when you decide to move on. And that's how it is in most relationships when we decide to walk away from somebody toxic. A toxic person is just a narcissist. I'm telling you that. Because narcissistic people, they feel as if that they have some sense of control over you and it's all about power. Too often at times we want to justify and understand someone's action when in reality we are not responsible for anybody's actions. And let me tell you why I could tell you that. You know why I'm responsible for nobody's action? Because guess what? God can't even control your actions. God gave every human on this earth the choice to do exactly what it is that they want to do. He didn't force you. He just gives you the benefit of the doubt and tells you, well, this is right and this is wrong. Now choose. So who am I? Who is below God to tell another human, you need to act like this and you need to act like that? I'll be crazy. I'll be crazy. Because the maker of humans doesn't even require you or forces you to do something that he wants you to do. And you there are trying to get somebody else to do what you want them to do. You're starting to make their actions your responsibility. And when you start to make people's actions your responsibilities, you're going to be stressed out, you're going to be bitter, and you're going to be depressed. There are just some good people in this world, and sweetheart, there are just some bad people inside of this world. There are people that are going to appreciate us, and there are people that are going to use us. There is going to be good, and there is going to be evil. No matter how you put it, no matter how you flip it, you need to stop looking for the validation of closure from that human that did you something and said, I'm going to receive closure because I need to move on with my life. And when I decided to do that, let me tell you something. You feel as if that you can't get rid of the person after that point. Like you feel like you, you running from them and they running behind you. You feel as if that, that the moment that you get, get, oh, I, I finally move forward. Man, that person comes back into your life and they make you seem like wh where you going. That's basically what they tell you, like where you going. And I have a quick story time. And I'm going to tell you this, like this is a very quick story time. When I decided to leave my relationship, like my, my very toxic relationship. I've had many of those, but you know, to each his own. And I decided to leave one particular toxic relationship. Let me tell you, when I decided to leave that relationship, it was good for a couple weeks. Like, you know, they say, oh, you can be back. That's what they felt. They say, you can be back. 
you need my closure. I've done you so much wrong that you, you just can't move on. You can't heal. Call me Abracadabra. And poof, I was gone. And no matter what magic trick that person tried to use, I never came back. I did not know, I no longer look for an explanation on why you cheated. I don't know, I no longer look for an explanation on why you lied. I just decided to move on and let you be somebody else's headache. And that person hated that. Most persons, them, that, that we ask closure for, they don't give us closure because it's a sense of power that they have over you to not move forward with your life. And anytime you encounter somebody like that, they, I consider them like spirits of, of, of stagnation. Those are persons, them, that just want you in a but You know what it is? They are so used to seeing you at one level. For you to get closure and level up to a next level is very confusing to them. And, and, and it and takes away that sense of power that, oh, my gosh, I can't control you no more. You're not being what I wanted you to be. Or their favorite line, you aren't how we used to be. It ain't how it was in the beginning of the relationship. Why are you doing this now? That's not you. No, it's not me. You knew the old me. Because I said, I didn't want to move on unless you told me it was okay to move on. But now this is a new me, and I'm moving on. I'm moving on, and I'm not going to require you to, to stay here in this, in this whole environment with me. And most of the times when we, when we look for closure, I can tell you this. So much things in life has passed us by. Opportunities pass us by. Friendships pass us by. Relationships pass us by when we wait for closure. I, I, I can tell you this, and the reason that I said this is because there's a point inside of your life, you have to take full responsibility for it. Like, you know, we can't blame mommy no more, we can't blame daddy no more, we can't blame, we can't blame the ex, we can't blame Uncle Tom from down the road, we can't blame the dog, we can't blame the cat, we can't blame nobody. At some point in our life, we have to take responsibility for it. And when you decide to take responsibility for your life, you notice that you have to hold yourself more accountable. And when you have to hold yourself more accountable, you notice that there are certain actions you can't do because you're trying to prevent yourself from disappointing yourself. And then when you realize that when you cannot disappoint yourself, you realize you have to hold yourself to a, a higher expectation. And then when you hold yourself to a higher expectation, you notice that you have to change your habits. And then when you notice that you have to change your habits, you notice that you get uncomfortable. And when you get uncomfortable, that's when you level up. That's just how it is. And we don't want to go through that. I didn't want to go through it. I did not want to change my environment. I wanted people to change for my environment to change. That's what I wanted. That's how I was in my career. That's how I was in my personal choices. That's how I was in my relationship. You change for me. I done, you don't take me through so much. You need to change for me. You owe me that. You don't owe me nothing. You don't owe me nothing. Nobody owes you nothing. After Christ paid that, that, that price on the cross, and he shared his blood for you. There was nobody on this earth that owed you nothing. Nothing at all. And when you, get, when you realize in life, the older you get, you have to be responsible for you and not other people, the easier your life becomes. The easier it becomes to walk away from situations. And guess what? When I stop looking for closure, when something don't make sense, I, 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 like I tell you, abracadabra, poof, I gone. I, I, don't even, I don't even sit there and try to figure out why this going this, this way. I don't sit there no more and I try to figure out why you doing this. I don't sit there no more and be like, I'm going to wait for you to change. No, I am waiting for nobody to change. Because that's not my responsibility to grow you up. And that's why Mary had a little lamb. I'm not responsible for growing up nobody. Definitely no man. If, you, if your mommy couldn't raise you, what make you think I could raise you? Oh, no. Oh, no. You, if females, I beg you, do not be like me who, who was from the ages of 20 to basically 22, midway 23. Thinking that I could have changed everybody with a magic wand. Thinking that everybody would have changed based on how I, how I, how I treated them. No, you got some people out here with just suckers. You got people out here with just are not, they're not going to give you that satisfaction of closure. Because that's that window that they need open to you in order to have access to you. When you cut off access, you don't need closure no more. The reason many of us are looking for closure is because we still have that door open. I cut off, when I'm done with somebody, I cut off all access. I, I don't want to be your friend. Why I want to be your friend? You want a friend, go find a friend in Jesus. 
I don't need to be your friend. You didn't appreciate my friendship then. Why should I feel you appreciate my friendship now? If it takes somebody's absence to appreciate you, then my dear, they will never appreciate your presence because it, it took your absence to make them appreciate it. So what makes you feel as if they're going to do the complete opposite in order to appreciate you? Stop looking for closure. Stop looking for closure. Stop looking for closure. And closure can come in all type of things. Closure comes in all type of things. It all, you know what closure is? We want to define closure as something that helps us move on with our lives. That's closure. It's an event that takes place in our lives that we feel as if, in order for me to move on, I need this door to close. That is why many of us are not moving forward in life. You know, we have the door open. We have doors open in our lives that we don't want to close ourselves. Sometimes you're going to have to be a big girl or a big boy and you're going to have to get up and you're going to have to close that door yourself. You can't wait on it. If I waited for somebody to apologize to me for half of the things some people didn't do to me, I would have been still out there bitter. I would have been out there angry. I would have been out there fighting people. Literally. I would have been out here giving people these hands. I would have been out here preparing for a court date. If I was really waiting on people to give me closure. And every single time, if you really would play this phrase in your head, nobody owes me nothing. I owe myself everything. You will go through life so much better. I owe myself everything. People owe me nothing. People owe me nothing. I owe myself everything. And when you make up in your mind that you owe yourself everything, you no longer look for somebody to give you anything. Because you know within yourself, I owe myself every single thing. I owe myself peace. I owe myself stability. I owe myself freedom. I owe myself everything. You have to make up in your mind to look for that. Stop looking for closure. The reason that y'all can't leave some of these toxic men alone is because you're looking for closure from him. You're looking for him to say, sorry, baby, and then come at you with some flowers, and then you find your Prince Charming, and then we happily married. No, it don't work like that. The reason that he feels like he can keep playing with you is because you keep answering him back. You see me, I don't answer you back. You, the eyes play, what in the movie called Bird Box? Eyes play like I can't see nothing. I legally blind. I can't see nothing. What, what you reaching out to me for? I'm not going to, I'm not going to continue to allow that portal in my life, which was connected to you, to keep my, my dreams and my visions and my aspirations behind because you decide that you feel like you could come and close that, open and close that door when you can and when you feel. And you know the best way to get closure? Boundaries. You need boundaries. You need boundaries. We don't have boundaries in our life. We don't. I can tell you that. And boundaries are not for people. They are for you. You cannot expect somebody to respect your boundaries if you don't even respect them. You cannot expect somebody to treat you a certain way if you don't want to treat yourself a certain way. I love boundaries now. Boundaries save my life. Boundaries let me sleep peacefully at night. I be sleep peacefully. Before, like what the young Miami said, before I be out there drunk and depressed, for somebody would ain't mine. I sleep peacefully at night, knowing that I did not look for closure from something that happened yesterday. A matter of fact, yesterday is yesterday. The reason we ruin our presence is because we, we, we are so focused on yesterday, and your present is what creates your future. That's why some of your futures look the same, like it, it, it seems as if it hasn't changed much from your present and your past because you were so focused on your past. Stop looking for closure. They're never going to give it to you. They're never going to say sorry. And then when they do say sorry, they probably don't mean it. They probably only say sorry because it benefits them. I learned that the hard way. I've got a lot of stories that only benefited people. And then in the end, it still ended up hurting me and, and affecting how I looked at life and affecting what I wanted to do with my life. Stop looking for closure. Like Kara said in the book, carry on like you own the place. When you own the place, you know, when you own what you do, you don't look for validation from nobody. Name a boss what is going to his work establishment and everything running smooth and you can let somebody bring chaos. When you own the place, you don't look for nobody to tell you when you could leave and when you could go, when you could come and when you could go. That's how you're supposed to be with your life. You need to own your life and you need to let, you need to let yourself know, Charlie, nobody can determine whether or not I go 
or I stay. Ain't nobody is going to determine how, how I feel about myself. If your actions make me feel less of myself, you are one less person I need in my life. Simple as that. Your actions make me feel less about Joshia Murray. You are one less person I am going to have in my life. There were many days I have had, I've had, and, I, and, and this, is from, this is for females in particular. Don't never let a man make you feel less about yourself twice. Because from the first time he did it, he really meant it. He isn't going to change it. And many times I made myself feel less of a woman because I accept some, what my daddy is called it, Annie Mary. Something like that my daddy say. He'd be like, this a bunch of Annie Mary. I accept some type of Annie Mary in my life that I wasn't even supposed to accept. Any single time you see me reach a point in my life I am insecure or depressed, it's based on the actions of somebody else that I allow to overpower my life. And the only way I could get myself out of a rather saying, Joshia, life goes on. Either you can sit down and take these blows or you're going to get up and fight. Either you're going to sit down and wait for somebody to be nice to you or you're just going to be nice to yourself. And when you start to treat yourself with that type of respect, what is closure? You don't do what you do. Your actions is enough. We need to, we need to normalize people's actions being the closure. That's it. Not their words. Not what we, not the perception that we have or the potential we see. Whatever somebody do, let them, know, they mean it. Your actions is enough. That's all I need. Bye. And then when you do that, you start to own the place. You own your life. Dominate your life. Don't let nobody dominate it for you. You don't need nobody running turbulence through your life. You could run turbulence through your life yourself. Based on the actions and based on some of the decisions we make. Because uh, we, we, shoot. You know how much decisions I done make and I be like, damn. Ooh, I can have to pay for this later. And I surely did. Ain't no, I could do bad all by myself. I don't need closure from nobody. I run my life. You won't go run it for me. I'm going to seize the day for my life. You're not going to seize the day for me. And when you decide to move on and you decide to tell yourself I'm going to be better and do better, closure doesn't exist. Like Kara said, own the place. And thank you for being tuned in for another episode of Wine Down Wednesday. See you guys next time.